you've heard, welcome to Cuphead The Delicious Last Course, a brand new DLC adventure for Cuphead. I loved playing through this game on the Nintendo Switch a few years ago, and now we're finally back to play as the, I, I forget her name. <laughs> But on here, the delicious last course, the DLC level should be new levels, new bosses, new challenges, should be a lot of fun. So with that being said, let's get started with Cuphead, the delicious last course. Oh, here we go. The legendary chalice has an urgent message for you. Find me on the coast, cups. All right, let's go for it. The legendary chalice, huh? Oh, we're over here. Okay, let's go. So I'll run down there real quick. I missed the art style to this game. It's just so pretty, just the classic sort of animation style and everything looks so good. But here you are. The legendary chalice, bid me, a bid me carry a message to you. She needs your help, a far off isle. A mysterious discovery. The boat awaits. Let's depart. Sure, let's go for it. So off we go onto a brand new adventure on a whole new island. <laughs> Cuphead and Mugman in the delicious last course. Or DLC for short. I love how they did that. The sun smiling down on us. There's no way anything could go wrong with this, right? What could Legendary Chalice be looking for all the way out here? Gosh, Cuphead, I don't know. I hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. Whoa! Jumpin' Jelly Beans, you boys made it. I have the most amazing news. And it all has to do with this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourself. A cookie? Don't mind if we do. Whoa! It worked, it really worked, I'm alive again. But now I'm a ghost. Wait, what about Mugman? What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy-turvy. Follow me, boys, I can explain everything. For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing worked. Until now, boys, let me introduce you to... Chef Saltbaker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Hi, chef. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, Mrs. Chalice, I see you've, you see my cookie has worked wonders on you. Oh, my stars. Uh-oh, maybe only for a limited time? I'm a ghost again. Oh, my, a finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come up with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this wonder tart and you'll have complete control over the astral plane. That, this wonder tart could bring Chalice back to life for good? No swapping places or nothing? Indeed, just one problem. The recipe requires exceptional ingredients held by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the wonder tart is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients. All right, so off we go. <laughs> Gonna find the ingredients for the Wonder Tart. Sounds tasty. Okay, so we start off here. Stay on your guard, intrepid cups. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wit and wills. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the secret ingredient. All right, sure. Worry not, I'll keep perfecting this recipe while you're out and about. I just know you'll put yourself fully into bringing the wonder, wonder tart to life. The fabled ingredients await, friends. Hmm, now where did I put the salt? Aren't, aren't you the salt? Anyways, I have not played in years now, so I might be a little rusty as we go into some things, but hopefully we'll pick it up along the way. But of course, Cuphead is a very difficult game on its own. I can't imagine the DLC would have gotten all that much easier. One more thing, chaps. Remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want to battle as Miss Chalice. Well, I definitely want to do that, so I guess we have to go instead of the smoke bomb. Place Miss Chalice. Gain access to her double jump, dash parry, and invincible roll. Oh, that sounds great. So now that I've done that, do I just get to play as her? I'll keep it the super, yeah, the super art one. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's all good for now, for now. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look around and see if I can remember how to play. It looks like somebody wants our attention over here. Hello. X tree, X tree, Chef Salt Baker awarded the best baker in all the lands. Oi, you're one of them cubs, ain't ya? This aisle's tough, but if you sent that in packing, you got two cases to spare. Here, pals, take out a little moolah for doing the world a favor. You received three gold coins, awesome. Okay, so he's not gonna say anything more. But let's see what this is. Recipe from Miss Chalice. So do I have to do anything in this level? Maybe this is more of a tutorial. Guess we're about to find out. Ready to hop into some more Cuphead action. It's been so long. Oh, here we go. So, yes, yeah, she has a little bit different things. ZR is Perry Dash. Uh, for flavor, just a dash will do. Oh, I like it. And of course, she has the double jump, so that's way more helpful. And then down, and that is dodge roll. Wow, okay. Gotcha. So she can't hit it like that. She has to dodge into it, I guess? Did I, am I doing something wrong there? Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything more. I guess I could just exit. Sure. Let me try one more time, what if I, oh, I see, there you go. And then, got it. And then it's gonna cycle through again. Okay, I think I understand. Let's keep it moving. See, I definitely like Miss Chalice a lot. I think we'll be mostly focused on playing through the DLC as her, just because she's a new character, want to experience her to the fullest extent. Cuphead and Mugman play the same. They're just, you know, player one and player two, like Mario and Luigi. But, what can we do around here then? If that's sort of the DLC, or the, the, the not the DLC, but the tutorial. Is there anything extra we can do here? I'm sure this is where we can go back to the main island. Uh, stay here. That's very useful. So there's not really anything over this way. Good to know. I did see something down here. Whoa, what is this? The King's Leap. Oh boy. So here we go, our first proper level or battle or whatever it might be, because some levels are just boss battles. And I'm sure I'm gonna get my butt kicked. I'll try my best though to get through all these. Whoa, here we go. It's the King. Oh, I love this background already. It sort of looks like it's made out of clay. Very cool. Am I supposed to be doing anything here? How do I change to... I don't know. Uh, I can exit? Oh, I thought I was supposed to be fighting him. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be fighting him? I'm so confused. Maybe I just have to talk to him. <laughs> I'm here just choosing violence, but maybe I could have just, you know, had a conversation. Uh, maybe I'll go back. Okay, yeah, I can just talk to him. I'm so silly. Hail ye cups, I bid thee welcome to my floating palace. I am the one true king, the king of games. From afar, I have seen you battle with zeal and aplomb. And lo, I grant thee a place in my royal tourney. In these bouts, your weapons and charms shan't be of use. You'll have to find different means to best my champions. From victories, riches, now into the fray with, with haste. Okay, I don't know if this is what we should be doing right now, if we should maybe try some easier things, but hey, it's here, might as well give it a try. Cause I don't really know if this is the first area, if it's not, it seems like you know, pretty easy way to access. Whoa, okay, here we go, now we're playing as Miss Chalice. Oh gosh, wait, how do I fire? Wait, can she not attack? I don't know. Um, whoa, whoa, okay, that wasn't good. I lost some HP. Yeah, I'm pressing all the buttons and I can't really. Oh wait, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I died. <laughs> Let's retry, apparently I was close to the end already. I'm a little confused if I can't attack right now or if that's something Miss Chaos can't even do. Don't worry, we'll, we'll figure it out. Right now I just gotta, ow, get through all these guys without taking too much damage. Got it. Oh man. Gotcha. Whoa, okay, not good. I need to make sure I dive through those. But it says I'm getting pretty close to the goal pole already, so if I just dodge past those. Gotcha. The first few are really easy. Oh, got you. Just waiting for the last, oh no, couple. Trying to look up there while looking down here is maybe not the best idea, gotcha. Come on, just one more. Uh. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. I got him, so there we go, that worked. Not bad, not bad. So there's our first goal done. I took some damage, but it's fine. 
So is there going to be a second wave now, as far as I understand? Or maybe I just had to talk to the king again? Yeah, here we are again. Oh, thy reward of wealth untold. Oh, we get a coin. Two of them, actually. Furthermore, I permit the special entry to the next match. Okay, so let's go for another one. Whoa, that's so interesting. I love how that looks. So here's round number two. And if we're not quite able to complete this one right now, that's fine. We can always come back later. So we couldn't attack on that one. Maybe we should try this one though and see if maybe it's a little bit better. So the fight. Because it seems like an actual fight, but once again, no, that didn't work. Okay, that worked a little, but then I landed on him. I think that's just sort of the thing with Miss Chalice, is that that doesn't work. Oh, come on. <laughs> retry, retry. A W for me and an L for you. <laughs> Rude. Good day for well, and begin. Okay. But yeah, no buttons I'm pressing allow her to attack. Oof. Okay, geez, that is, if I'm not, I don't know if I'm just not jumping in the right spot. Hmm. But it's a much different gameplay style than I'm used to. I sort of do wanna exit to the map really quickly and see, is this something just with her? Or maybe there's a way I can change it so that she can still attack? Cause I would, I would prefer that for sure. Okay, so I'm a little confused because I did take a look and I couldn't see anything, any reason why Miss Chalice wouldn't be able to attack, but now the ladder will come down. So this is super bizarre to me. Maybe it'll come back later, but at least we got one thing. Moonshine Mob and Bootlegger Boogie. All right, so let's see. Now we can attack. So yeah, it was definitely something with that. Whoa, okay, hold on, ah, not good. So we got all these bugs. We gotta make sure we use a double jump. Avoid those guys as much as we can. Whoa, okay, so I can dash through you, which is certainly something I'm gonna miss, is being able to dash through. That was such a useful move. But the double jump and everything else is certainly gonna be useful too. I got that, which of course that'll be used for our specials, which I can't remember the buttons for the specials at the moment, but it'll come around. Oh, but I died. That's okay, I, it's, it's surely going to happen a couple of times. Let's go for it, let's wallop. And then I can press which button to change? Oh yeah, okay, I see. Remember this does less damage, but it does auto aiming, so if I do wanna sort of be in a situation where I don't have to worry about it as much, no! Ah, oh, I dodged in the wrong direction. Definitely not as what I wanted as much. But the big bug is I think who we're focusing on here at the moment. Alrighty, boom, got it. Remember that parrying through things will give me extra power so I can do more super moves. Okay, let's switch to the green one. If I'm not able to focus on them, it's just good to do the green one because that'll just auto aim. Even if it does less damage, it's still better than nothing. Okay. Some of those bombs are popping off. Whoa. Gotcha. Ah, wait, wait. Ah, couldn't quite get it. That's okay. Ah, sort of lost where Miss Chalice was on the screen there. Ah! <laughs> That's okay that we made it farther. One, two, punch, and you and the cops are eating dirt, bingo, bingo. Okay, we almost got the first phase done. So if we try that again, as long as we make it a little bit farther each try, I'm happy, right? That's a surefire progress. Oh, look at that, I'm able to keep up with them pretty well there. Got that parry, and I can hop back down. Just being aware of all the different elements is a challenge, but one we'll get more used to as we're playing. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, there was a lot going on there. I think this is where I'm going to, yeah, use some of the green. And then if I could parry through that, that's excellent. Back on this way. Ooh. Okay, so. He's fallen, I don't know what's going on now. I guess I could have parried through those guys. I have enough to use a special, but I'm sort of scared because I forgot what button it is. What is with this stuff? Does this hurt? I guess when it's yellow or maybe something? Okay, yeah, avoid that, avoid that. Uh, that is really disorienting. Here comes our special and it's totally gonna miss. But now I know what it's like, so that's good. Um, the music 
is great, <laughs> but that's not so great. This dance is over, there's no excuse. You couldn't handle the giggle juice. All right then, so let's try again. But hey, we know how the special works now. I know a button to press and I, I sort of, I got a little bit farther. That's always nice. Oh boy. Let's fire at you up there. Okay, he's calling in for backup. Jump over, oh, okay, jumping over that wasn't the best idea. Wait, got it, that was nice. Whoa, yikes. So I'm losing more ow, health than I, I'd prefer for this one. Oh man, they are everywhere. Oh, why'd I do that, <laughs> whoops. Okay, so I got him, we haven't taken any damage yet, I'm trying to keep it that way. All of his bad guys are coming in. And then, right about here, here we go, that's gonna land a ton of damage. Oh no, oof. I wonder if I can actually dodge through that, I'm not really quite sure at the moment. Ah, that aiming was not the best. Or that angle, I guess. No, I can't go through it. Good to know, good to know. Learning every th something new every time. Okay, back over. When it starts to turn yellow, that's when we need to prepare. And that's when we should change it to green. So it starts doing the auto aiming. And we got her! That's great, that's really, really good. Okay, she, whoa, we got the big guy! <laughs> and the little guy. Okay, so, ow, I guess we're going for the one under the, the cap. One thing this nose knows is, use cap's gonna be pushing up roses. I love how everybody has so much character. So I got it, I just gotta get right back out there and try again. Okay, so let's see if I can maybe survive for just a little bit longer this time. Not asking, you know, for a ton. Oh, I wonder if I could parry the tongue. Whoa. Oh my. No, I, I, okay, that was not the answer. So he sticks his tongue out. He's an ant eater, I see. Weird, he's teaming up with bugs, you know? They usually eat the bugs. <laughs> let's try it again. I guess he's teaming up with the snail, though. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I got here with three HP instead of one, which is, you know, big upgrade. But when it comes to everything else going on around here, do I hit this? I guess not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rest of the bugs bouncing around. Uh, he's trying to get me right now. But I don't know, okay, uh, what do I do about it exactly? Oh man, that is a big wreck. Maybe I could just parry his tongue? Okay, I'm, I'm doing damage to the tongue slightly, as far as I can tell. Yeah, definitely doing damage to the, the tongue or the snout. Uh, uh, sticking that tongue out everywhere. I'm trying to send it back. Ah, oh, This one's tricky. I, I'm definitely getting farther though. As you can see, we're halfway through. So if I could just survive there and just use my super, that might've made a huge difference. We'll have to see. But this, they they started this throwing some punches. This is not an easy boss to start the DLC with, that's for sure. Ugh. Okay, we're getting pretty close to stuff, I think, at this point. Whenever he sticks his tongue out, I'm trying to focus on that, but in the meantime, try to stay toward the center. And if his tongue gets close to, to me, I just gotta jump out of the way. Come on, come on, ah! Uh! Okay, okay, whoa. There it is, there it is, we got him, the knockout! <laughs> All right, that took me quite, what? Wait, no! <laughs> Surprise, forgetting about the boss ain't wise. Oh no, they fooled me! All right, back to the beginning, but now I know, now I know. <laughs> this game does not play around. Okay, I'm ready for him this time. I have two HP instead of one. Ugh. See, I can dodge that, and maybe I should just, ooh. Okay, so occasionally, Never mind. I got him, I got him. Alive and kicking, there we go. It took so many tries. I don't even wanna think about how many tries that took, but there we go, the first boss of the DLC is completed, and the results, we did it in, uh, an okay amount of time. The HP bonus, two out of three, parry, two out of three, super mini, five out of six, it was okay, um, I'll take it, that's a B plus, a brand new record. All right then, so there's our first boss defeated as Miss Chalice as well. Lots of cool new things to experience there, so I'm glad we could get that out of the way. And let's see what's next.
Hooray! <laughs> yeah, sing Miss Chalice instead of Kevin. You got the distillery dough. Awesome. And what's going on over this way? The ladder still doesn't come back down for me, but maybe there's, oh, here it is. So we'll try that in a little bit. For right now, there's a couple more things to do. Boo, did I scare ya? Nothing in, in I love more than a good ghost story around the campfire. I'd heard word of a ghostly gal roughing up no good varmints around here. I reckon I'd keep track of her exploits myself. I'd sure love to tell the tale the villainous veggies vanquished. All right, so we'll definitely try to help out with that. Uh, so what about this one over here? Esther Winchester in High Noon Hoopla. Let's go for it. So we'll do regular difficulty and hope for the best. Oh man. So far, very challenging. Very, very challenging. Ooh, so it's a flying mission. Oh, this child's looks so cute, the little airplane. This is great. Okay, so we'll do what we can about this. Um. Oh wait, the tiny airplane. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to exactly do all this. But we have our super. That was actually very hard to spot. But <laughs> this cow is just popping out of the saloon. Oh my goodness. That this moves really fast. Uh, you stay over there. I guess it's oil. It's firing at us. Man, there is so much visually happening there. Not to quite the fall, I suppose. It's the last call. Let's try that one again. Hmm. Yeah, I'll stay here for now and then, oh man. Gotta pay attention to all the fireworks popping up from the ground. As well as everything else. Got it. Because that person throws, oh, they're dynamite getting launched off. And then maybe we could launch some of those over, but that didn't really do. Oh, wait, how did I change? Oh, I see, I see. Whoa, interesting. Okay, okay. Trying to watch out for all the, there's so much stuff moving towards me. Wow, wow. <laughs> I, I love her, her cowboy boots. Those are great. Oh no, ooh. I missed my parry, but we did get farther that time. I prepared y'all a tomb right inside my vacuum. <laughs> We almost got to uh, tier three there, so one more time. Come on, we got this. I love seeing the all of the the mountains in the background pass by, so very visually pretty. Oh man, it's hard to dodge that and look at that. That's just a lot to manage. I wonder if I should try to focus on getting rid of the bird that's dropping the dynamite. Is that something I can maybe do? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I'm trying to stop it, but. Oh boy. Ouch. Whoa, the safes are falling down. There we go, I got the, come on, come on, ready. The missile, boom, that was good, that was good. Oh, I can turn small here, remember. That may, maybe is something that can help a little. Safe's falling back down. Things flying at every single possible angle, but I got one of them, ouch. It's a hot dog? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, got it good, got it good. Ready? Oh no, this is gonna be tough. I can do it though. Did that count? Did that land? I have no clue. I sure hope so. Ooh. Got it, got it. So at least we're getting some good parries so far. <laughs> now you're in a hot dog tin. Oh, I can sort of go between them. Okay, I'm not getting that pepper. Oh, I had another, I didn't even realize. A gal can enjoy a moment, moment's peace without you meddling. So that was actually not too bad though. We made it pretty far that time. I think we could do it again. So let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going into the fourth round now, but this time with a Bunch of health, so I'm hoping I can make that work, especially if we keep getting those. Got two pink ones there, so I just need, oh no, one more. Come on, got it, got it. And then, boom, that should really, really help. And we got gotcha. you, all right, knockout. So I did lose two HP all on the way there, but it's okay. We made our way through, that was really challenging. And as you can see, 
We get ourselves a minute 39, HP bonus two out of three. So overall, we almost got a perfect A+. We're gonna get an A, brand new record. I'm really happy with that. I can definitely take that for sure. So we had one flying mission, one normal boss fight. That's pretty good overall, right? So what is next for us? I'm sure some other stuff is going to open up. So I might just wanna leave it for there for now though. Because as you can see, other areas are opening up. You got the desert limes, cool. I wonder if she'll see anything different. I tried to tell the tale of the villainous veggies vanquished. I guess not. I am a little curious, what was up here then? I'm guessing, yeah, different missions. Maybe I was supposed to do some of these first. I don't really know. Uh, but we'll take a look at the shop, the Pork Rinds Emporium, before we finish up today's episode. So yeah, Pork Rinds back with the Crack Shot, the Heart Ring, the Converge, the Broken Relic, and the Twist Up. So let's just start here, but this one was the cheapest. Unknown, a simple bauble of unknown origin. So that might be for something later, but for another crack shot, experience, er, EXP turret, straight shot with good damage, breaks into weaker aimed projectiles. And then I can do the heart ring, parry for HP, gain one HP on your first, third, and sixth parry. Wow, okay. And then we get another one, another twin heart, but that's about all I can afford it for now. We'll go ahead and get the broken relic. What stone? Okay, so have to afford some of these other ones later on, but it looks like there's going to be plenty of other levels to play in this DLC. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be because obviously a lot of it's spent retrying the boss fight, so a lot of it does end up getting cut out. So I think we'll leave it there for today's episode, and then in the next episode, we will uh, try out some of this other stuff, these other fights that might be going on. But right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Cuphead, The Delicious Last Course. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.